and the widows taking care of those people who are poor that is the true religion that's the greatest commandment we have love does no wrong to our neighbors rather love fulfills the law let us now come to the third reading the gospel passage here jesus was with his disciples probably in the first christian community there were a lot of conflicts you know matthew is writing the gospel to the jewish community and in that community probably because of the jewish people becoming christians greeks becoming christians there were lot of problems misunderstanding conflicts maybe offense to one another and consequently here this reading is so practical jesus says when someone sins against you your brother or sister the first thing that we have to do is go and talk to the person face to face talk to the person face to face but don't post it on facebook <laughs> you know nowadays because of the facebook people always when there is a conflict when there is a problem they post it on the facebook with all the photographs what can you gain by that you know we are trying to put the secrets of our community out there to be observed to be watched by the whole lot of people there you know jesus says no go and resolve your problem between the two talk to the person face to face i would put a technical word here confrontation not in a hostile manner not in an argumentative way not in an arrogant way confrontation is talking to the person and resolving the issue between the two now if we do not do that what happens let us say you have a kind of feeling in your heart against a person or someone has sinned against you our brain is the biggest problem if the thing has happened in the morning by noon and evening it becomes such a big thing you know we exaggerate it blows out of proportion through our imaginations and imaginations and then we cannot bear it any more we go to the neighbor and say you know what has done that person to me don't tell it to anyone now don't tell it to anyone it is only to you and that person goes to another 10 people and say you know what has happened in our neighborhood something has happened and so on by the end of the day or the week 250 to 300 people will know what has happened gossiping 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 spreading rumors exaggerating jesus says no it should stop right in the beginning that's why saint paul in his letter to the ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 to 27 says be angry but do not sin let not the sun go down you being still angry <coughs> resolve the issue before the sun goes down talk to the person and that requires courage <coughs> fight for justice standing for righteousness you know we have to do it otherwise it will create problems to us now if the person does not accept the fault of mistake that is committed against you then you go to the second step the second step is called negotiation and how to negotiate you take two to three witnesses with you confront the person with two or three witnesses and this goes back to the old testament deuteronomy chapter 19 verse 15 you know moses says if someone has committed a mistake or created a problem in the community you take two three witnesses with you and confront the person talk to the person and try to resolve and what happens dear friends here when there are two three witnesses i give my version she or he gives his version and there are three witnesses who can listen to them and can find out who is wrong and who is right very logical right but the, that should be done in the community of believers don't take it to outside community of believers now the third step is even if the person does not listen to you with the three witnesses the third step is adjudication inform it to the church and what is the church here this is a particular word church ecclesia was in some way put in the mouth of jesus 
Jesus did not have a church around him. The church was formed at the coming of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. But here, the problem, the word was put in the mouth of Jesus to indicate in the early community there were problems and should be resolved in the community of believers, inform it to the church so that when there are many members who believe in God, who are of the same spirit, this person is brought and made to understand, dear, you have done this mistake. You know, we all understand you have weaknesses, but you have to admit this particular mistake you have committed. You have made a mistake, you have to accept it. Now, this is a strategy that is wonderful. Why do I say wonderful? Dear friends, it is so easy today to go to the court, civil court. And what happens? If you go to the civil court, the lawyers will make money. But if you go to the church, there is no one who asks you money. If you can make a voluntary contribution, it is okay. <laughs> but then nobody is going to ask you money. Inform it to the church and the problem is solved within the community. Then the fourth step, Jesus says, even if that person does not listen to the church, let that person be a tax collector and a Gentile. I doubt very much that Jesus told these words. You just imagine how Jesus was so friendly with the tax collectors and the Gentiles. If we take examples of Zacchaeus, Matthew the tax collector, the prostitute woman, the Samaritan woman at the well, so all these were friends of Jesus. Jesus really loved them. Then why Jesus said, let them be to you tax collectors and Gentiles? The technical word I would use here is excommunication. What is the meaning of excommunication? You know, if you go to the canon law, it has a very grave, very important, very serious meaning. Excommunication. He is excommunicated. But we think that it is a big matter. Actually, it is not a big matter. I give you some examples of the words. Ex parish priest means what? Is a bad parish priest? No. He was a parish priest. Now he is not parish priest. Ex bishop means what? He was a bishop of this diocese. Now he is not. Another bishop has come. So in the same way, ex communication means what? There was communication. Now there is no communication. That's all. It's not a serious matter at all. Why Jesus says, let them be tax collectors and Gentiles. Stop communication with that particular person who has sinned and who does not accept that sinfulness, does not admit his or her fault. You stop communication for a while and that person will certainly feel lonely, abandoned and he or she will feel, well, I have done a mistake, I have made a mistake. I need to go and talk to those people and I need to come back to the fold of Christ or to the community. Dear friends, these are the four steps to resolve our problems. The first problem, the first step is confrontation. As I told you, not with an arrogant spirit, but friendly man. Try to talk to the person face to face. The second, negotiation. Take two or three witnesses with you. Convince the person of the fault or mistake coming. Third step is go and inform the church adjudication where there will be a kind of uh, judgment that is in some way shared with all the people to make the person understand that he or she has made a mistake. The fourth one, excommunication does not mean completely cut off from the community for a while we do not have anything to do with the person until the person realizes that he or she has to come back to the fold. Now, I conclude this homily with a wonderful experience I had in my previous parish. It was a big parish, as I told you several times, 25,000 people. I had 65 parish pastoral council members. And there, there were two wonderful friends, Henry and Paul, great people, generous people. They were always out there to help the parish priest or anything that needed to be done in the church. And once what happened, Henry was in need of some funds. He wanted a loan from Paul. 
and he got the loan and paul said you have to repay me within 2 years agreement was done and after 2 years henry was not able to pay the money he asked for 6 more months and paul was irritated and paul started making rumors and gossiping about henry saying that he is a cheater he is a bad person and so on and so on the gap widened no communication and henry stopped coming to paris pastoral council meetings and one day paul came to my office to offer some masses to his departed family members and he said father do you know that henry our paris pastoral council member he does not come any more you know what he has done he has cheated me he has cheated me with a big sum of money he promised that he would pay in 2 years now we do not know where he is then i told uh, paul paul with your permission can i talk to henry of course father what i need is my money back i don't want any interest i want my money back okay i called henry had a frank dialogue with him and henry was really hurt he said father you know i had great respect for paul i asked him for six more months and i was not able to pay i told him have some patience i will pay you the money then he goes around in the parish and spoiling my name telling that i am a cheater i am a bad person i have money to give him with all the interest ready but he has spoiled my name in the parish and that's why i am delaying to settle the account then i said you know as good christians you need to set a good example in the parish i called both of them i started this session with a prayer asked grace from the holy spirit said the our father and i said henry now you have the money give it to paul let us resolve this issue you need to be good friends again and henry brought the whole bag with the money with the interest and pushed it towards paul and paul said father one thing i don't want is his interest let him keep the interest to himself what i want the money which i gave him let him give that money so embarrassment and i said to henry henry separate the interest and give him the money that is due to him and then i said well this is the time to reconcile what's the difficulty in giving a hug to each other henry give a hug to paul paul come on both of them hugged each other father there is nothing very great that has happened only misunderstanding i forgive him i forgive him they hugged each other now the problem was with the interest lying there on my table what to do with the interest paul said father i am donating this interest to the church i was very happy then i said if you have such cases please bring them to me i will solve this problem <laughs> dear friends within the christian community community of believers we have such a lot of ways and means of solving problems but you often as i said instead of gossiping instead of telling that particular story to 10 people we can always resolve it in our community of believers when we pray together that's why jesus said where two or three are gathered in my name i am in midst of them you know when we need to believe in the presence of christ we need to have that faith and conviction and we do not owe anything to anyone but love that is what saint paul says we are all called to be prophets we are all called to love one another but ultimately this love must be mediated through the love of christ who is always present amidst us to help us with his grace and power kindly guys we promise